in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Rejoice, Jerusalem, and all who love her. Be joyful, all who wear in mourning. Exult and be satisfied at her consoling breast. The psalm of today is Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. There on the poplars we hung our harps, for there our captors asked us for songs. Our tormentors had demanded songs of joy. They said, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you. If I do not consider Jerusalem my highest joy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself, in a wonderful way. Grant, we pray, that with the prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten towards the solemn celebration to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Gospel of the day is from St. Luke, chapter 9. Late in the afternoon, the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away so they can go to the surrounding villages and countryside and find food and lodging, because we are in a remote place here. He replied, You give them something to eat. They answered, We have only five loaves of bread and two fish unless we go and buy food for all this crowd. About five thousand men were there. But he said to the disciples, Make them sit down in groups of about fifty each. The disciples said it uh, so, and everybody sat down. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke them. Then he gave them to the disciples to set before the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. Then some verses from St. John chapter 6. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Your forefathers ate the manna in the desert, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which a man may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came fr down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I would like to point out a small detail, which we have in many churches, I think, in the Western tradition. The liturgical color during 
the wind is purple, dark purple, I would say. But not today, on the fourth Sunday of Lent. Today it is rose. And also the Latin name of the day is more bright, if I may so say so. It is letare, meaning rejoice. On our way, on our walk from Ash Wednesday towards Good Friday, it is today a time to sit down, to rest for a while. To sit down with Jesus, as the crowd did, when Jesus said to his disciples, make them sit down. To rest a while and eat the bread which Jesus had distributed to us to eat. The multiplication of the five loaves and two fishes to feed the multitude. I would like to come with some points about the contents of the Gospel which I read. First, a powerful action of Jesus again. The multiplication feeding the multitude. It is an action of God's love towards those in need. This time action of love towards those who were hungry. Action of God's love. Second, in the Gospel of John it is told that there were small boy sharing with others his food, his bread, his fishes. In the hands of Jesus, this small thing became something great. It is an example for us, a challenge, would I say. Are we sharing with others of what we have? In the hands of Jesus, my small things can become something great. And then number three. Let us think about the Eucharist, where Jesus, so to speak, gives himself, gives his life for us. In the Gospel of St. Matthew we read, While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Jesus gives himself for us in the Eucharistic bread. He said in the Gospel of today, I am the bread of life. Let us pray. Gracious God, on this day we bring before you our lament. Our lament in the face of terrible suffering under violence, injustice and war in so many places on this earth. Lord, have mercy. Our lament about the invasion of the Ukraine. Our lament about the many thousands who have been killed in this war. Lord, have mercy. Our lament about the war in the Holy Land. Our lament about the many thousands who have been killed in Gaza. Lord, have mercy. We bring before you the despair of all those who have lost their loved ones our own feelings of powerlessness in trying to find ways to overcome the terrible violence. Lord, have mercy. Send beams of hope into our hearts and into the hearts of all those who have lost every hope. God, we ask you to send your spirit into the hearts of those in power. Lord, have mercy. May those who are responsible for the war recognize the injustice of their action and repent. May those fighting against each other find ways for a just peace. 
May the logic of military violence give way to the logic of dialogue and peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the creator of heaven and earth. You sustain us every day. Show us your presence. Give us your comfort. Strengthen our faith and our hope and our love in this difficult time. In you we trust. Amen. Let us join in the closing prayer. God, creator of all things, you are our sun, our light, our strength. Help us to grow in your love. Grant that your church may shine with your light. Father, we bless you for the love with which you love us. Father, we bless you for the love you give us each day. Glory be to you. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go on our way to act in accord with Jesus' words and deeds. To be the salt of the earth. To seek justice to build peace, to protect the creation, and to gain life.